we will be demonstrating the evaporator reassembly for Horizon Elite. You will need the following tools. Protective gloves, petrol gel, adjustable wrench, 5 16 inch and 9 16 inch socket, rubbing alcohol, 3 16 inch Allen wrench, Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, ratchet. At this time, please put on your protective gloves. The auger is very sharp. Wear gloves to prevent being cut by the auger flights. First, use rubbing alcohol on the ceramic mating ring and shaft seal. Be careful to avoid touching the surface of the mating ring or shaft seal as oil from bare skin will cause the seal to fail prematurely. Carefully install the auger with the cutout positioned between 9 and 11 to clear the main housing stream divider. You may now slide the main housing onto the auger. Use a screwdriver to compress the spring on the auger shaft, which allows for easier installation of the three screws. Install the water input line into the John Guest fitting at the front of the evaporator. Attach the front evaporator insulation. Install the front shuttle insulation. Drop in the ice compression nozzle with the tapered end up and place the O-ring on top. Use the Phillips head screwdriver to reinstall the shuttle assembly. Push the drain tube over the plastic fitting. Once the evaporator is sealed, the shuttle switch can be installed. Align the holes with the pins and depress the switch button to clear the shuttle tab. Reinstall the transport tube over the 3 4 inch barb fitting of the shuttle. Be careful not to cut the inside of the tube. Tighten the hose clamp at the base of the transport tube with the 5 16 inch socket. Screw the transport tube back into the louvered docking station. Begin the gear motor assembly by applying a coat of petrol gel to the auger shaft. Slide the gear motor onto the auger shaft and install the gear motor bolts with a 9 16 inch socket wrench. Pry the auger forward with your screwdriver and rotate the auger using your half-inch wrench to align with the key entry point. Install the key and keep the auger pried to allow room for the retainer fork. Install the retainer fork and rotate it to align screw holes. Install screws to secure the retainer fork.
be careful not to over tighten. Connect the gear motor wires. Install the gearbox insulation The assembly is now complete.